Hello everyone and welcome to another bins video. We are back at the Hampton bins here in Virginia. There's a little apron. I pick up vintage aprons. I'm not going to pick up modern aprons. Actually, that's not true. I will pick up modern aprons. It just depends on who makes the apron. There are a couple of apron companies like World Market is one of them where I've bought and sold their aprons before. I was trying to decide if this was a scarf or if this was material. It is actually material. And then I had to decide if I wanted it because uh, I'm, I'm a sewing hoarder. Uh, I couldn't determine if it was wool or not. It kind of felt like wool. The only way I could truly tell if it was wool or acrylic is if I burned it. If you didn't know, if you pull a thread off of, you know, a, a piece of fabric like that, if it melts, it's plastic. If it burns, it will be a natural fiber of some sort. Can't really do that in the middle of uh, a store like this. That would definitely be a fire hazard. So I just went ahead and passed on it since I wasn't 100% sure. And now everyone has learned something that may or may not help you in life. But I'm going through here. I've already spent a ridiculous amount of time in the books. Uh, today was a great day as far as books goes. And unfortunately, I didn't film it because it was such a great day. Uh, this is me trying to see if this is vintage. Like that was a big purse style in the 90s. It's a more modern version. It's made in China and whatever. If it was like a 90s version it would have been made in india just putting that out there uh this is a maxi length denim skirt if it had been a better brand i would have picked that up because that's still on trend right now i probably could have still sold it especially since i'm getting it at the bins probably would have only been like a dollar fifty eh. Uh, the, the brand really wasn't there for it. I mean, the style was there, but the brand wasn't. Sometimes that's enough to, to pull it over the hurdle, but there's plenty of other like long maxi length denim skirts. Like if it was a larger size, but I think it was like a size eight or something. So I just passed on it. So when I walked in the store today, and the reason why there's no book footage is because I walked in and there were seven bins of books. There are normally only three. So I spent three and a half hours just doing the books because I found like literally almost my cart is full of just books. So anything I get with clothing is just going to be like skimming the top and hoping it'll stay in there. But it was a really, really good day. Uh, unfortunately, since I didn't film the shopping portion and if you want to see what books I picked up, you will have to go over to my book channel, which will link up above, hopefully in a card if I'm good. Um, but it is always linked in the description. It is B zero B S books, Bob's books. It's also linked. If you look at my YouTube channel, there's associated channels and it has the other three channels. Again, the book channel is the only one I really upload on, but there is that. Uh, this is a thermal waffle knit throw. I actually got a cotton throw from the bins a while ago and my partner's cat has decided it's hers now. The reason I got it is because my partner tends to prefer the acrylic like fleece style of blankets. And while I do like that, I like it in the larger version. I don't really like it for like the small throw size. I prefer like cotton. I've talked about before. I prefer natural fibers and you know, his cat apparently has taste, but she is evil. And if I, if she comes into the house because she's an indoor outdoor cat and decides that it is her turn for the blanket, she will lay on my feet. And if I move my feet underneath the blanket, she will bite me. So yeah, it is now her blanket until she decides uh, it, she doesn't want it anymore, which will probably be once it gets warmer outside. Uh, we had a, a run of really nice weather there for a while where it was like 60, 70 degrees. It was gorgeous outside you know, why the boy was gone. Uh, as soon as the boy comes back, it is rainy and cloudy and cold again. So we, this is a wool style coat it is a wool blend, but it does have a company on it. So I threw that to the side. I did decide to start at the like less bin out of all the clothing. Ooh, is this new with tags? It is. Is it old Navy? It is. So that is immediately going into my cart. I have great luck selling new with tags old navy i pick it up whenever i find it at the bins it goes really quick this is also new with tags it is a russ ross not russ ross tag i like the style it's pastel it's raw hem i know maybe this was like a couple years ago but i just like it and i know we're not going we're, we're going out of the sweater season but as i just mentioned it's you know 
45 degrees outside right now and raining. So I'm still thinking about sweaters. I'm still wearing sweaters. So I'm going to pick that up. This is a vintage like sleep shirt, but there were no bottoms to match it. And that would have been a set. So that got thrown to the side. Uh, I do dig in here without gloves. I know some individuals don't like that. Uh, my bins does not require to wear gloves. I was talking to Lorraine today and she said that there are some bins that require you to wear gloves uh, when you go in there. If you don't have a pair of gloves, they will make you buy some from them, which was wild to me. Uh, I prefer not to have gloves due to the fact that I like to feel for material. Uh, as I've mentioned before, I'm a big natural fiber feeler that sounds weird uh, also like lululemon there are certain brands like figs and lululemon where like they have a specific feel and i have found some great stuff in the bins just because when i reached down and i felt something really nice i was like oh this has got to be something and then i looked up the brand and it was something actually that'll be in an upcoming what sold video and so i i prefer to go gloveless uh normally what happens if I have someone else here at the bins with me, either, you know, my mom or a friend or, you know, one of you guys hits me up and wants to, th to thrift with me. Or if I run into Lorraine, which I have several times, uh, normally what will happen is, is that once I'm done with the books, I will then go and wash my hands because my hands are filthy after digging in the books for a while. And then I will come back and then start doing the clothes. So that way, you know, my hands aren't gross and getting on the, you know, white or cream or light color clothing. Um, but if I don't have someone to help me out, what I end up doing is that once I take everything out to the car or the Bronco, I should say, because I have a Bronco, when I come back, I bring the cart back. I actually physically bring the cart back. I am one of those people. Normally what happens, the reason why I come here at 11 is because if you don't get here at nine o'clock when they open, you are not going to get a cart. There will be no carts available until roughly like 10, 30, 11 o'clock. And so what I will do is I will park my Bronco and then I will pick up one of those random carts that have been vacated out in the middle of the parking lot somewhere. And that'll be the cart I use to shop with. And then when I'm done shopping, I will then return the cart all the way inside to the retail location because that's where the carts are kept and do my once over sometimes. Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. If I get the gut feeling that I need to look in the store, I will look in the store. But sometimes I'll just like drop the cart off and then go to the bathroom and wash my hands and be done with it for the day. Um, this time I did actually take my cart back and then peruse the shop for a little bit and I did find some good stuff. So that will be in the haul as well. I, I feel like I should have picked this up. It was absolutely gorgeous. It was a lightweight um, acrylic I think like scarf but the the brand wasn't that good so I think that's why I left it uh but it was actually in good shape I know it's lightweight and I could have done that but I haven't really sold very many of those like lightweight scarves recently I know that'll probably be more of like a spring summer type of deal but I just left it behind it'll be okay uh, this is uh, VRST is the brand. I did set it on the side of my cart. So when I don't know what something is, I will set it aside either on the handle or in the upper portion. You can see I, I have my giant coat there, so I can't really do that. To look it up later, uh, I normally just try to keep digging until I feel like I'm too tired. I must stop. Uh, but I did look up the VRST. It is like a fast fashion, like nothing brand like a drop shipper brand so i looked it up and it was like selling brand new on ebay for like 10 to 15 dollars depending on who was selling it so i of course just threw that back but they were like nice shorts so i mean it's not like it's a crap brand i mean it's a serviceable pair of shorts but it wasn't something to resell at least for me i mean you do you I would have only paid like a dollar for it, but if you can get it brand new for $15, I mean, are you going to really buy it from me for like 10? Probably not. I was really hoping to find something on this because I liked it. It didn't have an RN number. It had an extra button. It didn't have an RN number. It didn't have a brand, but it was like this interesting like cable knit purple long line hooded cardigan. 
And I've talked before, like purple people love purple. I probably still could have sold that, but again, we're going out of the season. It didn't have a brand. I, you know, I might have Google linsed it once I got it on Karen, which is my dress form, and I've been able to find the brand, but it's too late now. Although I am still thinking about it. Now, if it was green, I definitely would have gotten, I wouldn't have cared because then I would have gotten it for myself, but oh well. Uh, this is me getting down to the bottom. As I mentioned before, I do attack these as methodically as possible. Here's a second pair of shorts. So could I have lotted these two shorts up and sold them together for $10 and, and made money on them? Yes. This is a J. Crew top. Look how gorgeous this was. It's a embroidered. It has the uh, bell sleeves, but it has some terrible deodorant staining. So this is me like putting it aside and thinking, do I really want to get this? Do I really want to have to like do the work for it? This is a spirit jersey. Unfortunately, it is a young life spirit jersey. The only spirit jerseys I have picked up have been Disney spirit jerseys. They always sell for me. Now, I don't know what young life is. I probably should have looked it up. Because, you know, depending on what it is, Disney spirit jerseys aren't the only spirit jerseys that sell well, but they are the ones that consistently sell well. This is me being like, you know what? I can get this out. I can do this. We're getting this. It is J. Crew Factory, but I thought it was too pretty. If it was my size, I would have kept it. So there is that. And so this is me making everyone nauseous by walking to a new bin because I have exhausted the bin I was just at. And so I'm just going to throw things over. This is fabric of some sort uh this is a, some kind of fleece full zip this is a columbia piece it has the thermal like heat wave lining inside of it, it i'm checking to see like if it's down filled and what size it is it was down filled and i was like all right do the, the, the zippers work yes the zippers do work i was like it is dirty but i feel like i could get that out if i washed it real good and as I'm going through it, I was like, oh, never mind. There's a giant hole in it. That is why it's in here. This didn't have a brand in it. So I threw that to the side. But that was like the first of many downfilled coats that I was going to not pick up this day because all of them had massive holes except for one, which you will see in the whole portion of this video. And I think what I'm going to do is actually give you to other Bob now, and she's going to go over the haul with you guys. Hello, welcome to the haul, y'all. Uh, let me show you what I picked up at the Goodwill bins. But first, I'm going to show you what I picked up at the retail location next door, because I had that little gut feeling that I might find some good stuff. If I popped on over to the retail location, again, I'm trying not to buy more stuff until I get this room cleaned out. But if I get that little gut feeling, I will pop in there real quick to see if I find anything. And I'm so glad I did because I actually found stuff for myself. Well, I found one thing for myself and everything else to resell and Miss Moxie is now joining us. Here she is. I found a pair of Olakai's. I, <laughs> uh, they happen to be in my size. Uh, I just saw the little hook logo and I was like, all right, let's see if they mark them up. They did not, which was a miracle. Uh, this is one of the brands that the Goodwills in my area do not know about yet, so fabulous. This is the Hanu Thong, and I think this normally retails for like $90 or something like that. It's something astronomical. My partner pretty much exclusively wears Cole Han Grand OS's or Cole Han or Olkai. Those are the two brands that he, he wears in footwear. Uh, he did get a pair of Carhartt boots recently, but Pretty much those three brands are it for him as far as footwear goes uh, unless it's like a specialist piece so i was so happy to finally find a pair for myself uh, especially since i'm not gonna pay the 90 dollars for a pair of flip-flops <laughs> that's just not gonna happen for me um these are the rose gold color so these would be like my fancy flip-flops <laughs> But I basically, so the things that I'm going to show you that I got at the retail location, I did have a coupon. I had 20% off and I used that. So actually everything cost like $5 and 25 cents cost averaging. So for five bucks, I'd much rather pay five bucks and a quarter versus the however much this normally is. But if even if I was to get this to resell, I could resell these for around 25 to $30. So, but I'm keeping them. Just letting you know, Olakai still does pretty well if you get them in good shape. 
And the next is something I'm going to try because the sell-through rate was good. I have heard multiple people, and I've even talked about it before, how if you find uniform pieces for fast food, they can sell well. I have sold, you know, Taco Bell shirts before, uh, but I have never really found Chick-fil-A before. I have found them, but normally they're like trashed when I find them, but I actually found some in good shape and in good sizes. This is Obi. And there's actually Chick-fil-A by Obi, but it'll be embroidered somewhere on there or on the tag. Uh, this is a green extra large polo. And it has the Chick-fil-A there on the sleeve. We have the Chick-fil-A branded one here. This is a size large and it's the gray. And this doesn't have embroidery on it, but it does have the Chick-fil-A logo inside. And then this purple one, which is also a size large polo, and this has the Chick-fil-A embroidered on the lapel. And this is also a size large. So I looked at the sell-through rate, and the sell-through rate for these were, like, pretty high. So I'm hoping everything that I picked up at the retail, I gave myself, like, is either going to be for me, and it has to be special if it's for me, which the Olakai are, or it has to be a high sell through rate item because I have tons of vintage in my death pile and that's slow, slow um, sell through rate that's like rating for the right buyer. So like if I add new stuff or if I do thrifting on my own at a retail location, it needs to be high sell through rate. So that those are the parameters I've given myself. And then everything, these things that I'm showing you from the retail location are already listed. So I'm being good good. All right, this I'm excited because uh, Kay from uh, Passports and Pizza Pies, I will link her channel up above in the description down below. She is the, <laughs> as much as I know about Adidas, she knows about literally other every other athletic wear brand. And I did not know that Under Armour had a collaboration with The Rock. And she has mentioned this multiple times on her channel, that it's basically the only Under Armour she picks up, whereas I pick up all the Under Armour I can find at the bins, but this is, it looks like this. When I saw the Bull logo, and it wasn't like the Chicago Bulls, because the Chicago Bulls aren't sponsored by Under Armour, I was like, oh my god, I finally found a piece, and it's a 3XL, and it is a quarter zip. So I immediately picked that up, and of course I put it on my Instagram, because yeah, and I'm just really happy that I finally found a piece. So if you don't watch her channel, I highly recommend it if you would like to learn some more athletic wear brands and also I just like her personality and her daughter has just grown up before her eyes and she has raised an amazing human and Kay if you're watching thank you so much. <laughs> I also found some untuck it pieces. This first one is uh, a 2XL and it is a polo. Now unfortunately I did find a flaw. Thankfully it's a little tiny flaw. There is a tiny pinhole in the very front of this down at the bottom, but it is a 2XL blue cotton polo. Again, I only paid $5 for it, so I'll just mark this accordingly with a flaw of like, you know, $15, $15 $16, and I'm sure it'll still sell. If it sells for like more than $10, I will have doubled my money, and if it sells fast for $10, I will probably accept that. <laughs> Just so it, like, I've quickly doubled my money. Uh, the second piece I found is, the second piece I found is actually new with tags. So, yay, that makes up for the other one for sure. Uh, this is a size medium. It is a slim fit, 100% cotton button front shirt. And it's, like, blue striped. So, happy to get some new tag again on tuck it doesn't sell for what it used to you know four years ago but i'm perfectly happy to still have it in my store if i'm buying it for five dollars or less because it will eventually sell and then i found lululemon i have found lululemon men's one time before that and i gave it to my brother <laughs> but i did find lululemon again and it wasn't marked up because the only way you knew it was lululemon is if you saw the little logo on the back but there was, the tear tag had been ripped out. I just cut away the rest of the, the little tear tag in there. But it is a men's size extra large. And I know that because Lululemon in their modern pieces puts it on the garment, which is the most amazing thing ever. So it is an XL. There it is. It's, it's normally on the inside of, it's, if it's a shirt, it's on the inside seam. If it's in a pocket, if it's pants, it's going to be in a pocket somewhere. 
But thank you, Lululemon, for doing that because you do make those tearaway tags and it does make it easier for those of us in the resale market. But that is everything that I picked up at the retail location. So all of this that I just showed you is listed on eBay, except for the shoes because they're mine. But there is that. And now I'm going to share with you all of the clothes I got at the bins. If you want to see the books I picked up, because uh, I do pick up books every time I go to the bins. Uh, thank you, by the way, for those of you like that watched the me digging through the books at the bins. I didn't think that you guys really would want to watch that, but a lot of you did. So thank you for watching that. I will probably only do that once a month on this on this channel uh, due to the fact that I, I do have a separate book channel and I want to try to keep my book content over there. But because we all like a treasure hunt and it's also exhausting to go through the books and film uh, because I am trying to like organize stuff at the same time. So Thank you guys so much for watching it. I will continue to do that here uh, at least once a month. But if you want to see like the book hauls that I'm getting to resell on whatnot or a resell in general or books that I'm keeping for myself, I do recommend you follow my book channel, which I will link up above. And it's also in the description down below that that's where that's going to go just because I want to try to keep it a little bit separate. So there's that. But let me show you everything that I'm going to, clothing wise on on whatnot. So every Thursday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 4 p.m. Pacific, I go live on whatnot, and I offer up my bin signs to my audience first at $2 uh, a piece, and then whatever doesn't sell on whatnot, I list in my eBay store because everything I'm picking up is stuff that I would want to sell on my own eBay store. So if you want to get some deals yourself, join me. If not, no problem. <laughs> so this first piece, I think I showed in the video, it was very stained. Uh, I had to do two rounds of washing, but I did get all the stains out and I just thought it was too pretty not to save. It is J. Crew uh, factory. It's a women's size large, but look at this beautiful embroidery. It's this nice navy top. It is cotton. It has these lovely like bell sleeves. They're three quarter length bell sleeves with like this beautiful white embroidery. I just thought it was gorgeous. So I will put that up on whatnot. I, again, I'm willing to do the stain treating just because of the fact that if this was in my size, I would probably keep it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, this next piece is another piece. Oh, I did also want to say, Lorraine, if you're watching this video, thank you. It's so nice to see you. Lorraine has been, was like the first person to like recognize me at the bins and she, I, her and I have seen each other several times since then. And she is doing well. If you guys remember, she did have a surgery. Hope it's okay to mention again here. Um, she is doing well and she's been like a help and also just a nice person to talk to when I go to the men's. So Lorraine, hello. <laughs> Thank you again for watching my cart while I go potty. <laughs> it's such a huge help, especially when I'm there for like three to four hours. She's just been an absolute treasure. And again, Lorraine, anytime you see me, please say hi. I love talking to you. Um, but while I was talking to her, I found this. It is Erica. You guys know how much I love linen. This is a linen rayon blend. It is vintage and look at this. It is an extra large. Absolutely gorgeous. Like, you know, I'm 5'9", so this is a midi style dress. It hits me like just below my calf. But if you are like less than 5'6", this is a maxi length skirt for you. It is a sleeveless linen blend dress. It does have pockets absolutely gorgeous the floral is all the way down to the bottom i'm not showing you the bottom look at that absolutely beautiful linen blend dress button front it has the tie waist too like this is checking off all the boxes i have no idea why nobody picked this up it was right on top well it wasn't right on top there was a little bit of stuff over it but i saw this and i was like oh what is that i'm thinking maybe it was a tablecloth no absolutely gorgeous dress in an extra large 10 out of 10 would recommend picking that up anytime. Absolutely love it. I am going to list this. I I mean, I would list it either way. The only difference is, is that if I list it on whatnot, it might sell immediately versus if I list it on eBay, it will take a while to sell. But this is a vintage 1960s sweater. Um, it's my size. It doesn't have a size in it, but it is my size. As you can tell, I'm putting it on and it's green. So of course I saw this, but it is from the 60s. It does have 
the cute banding at the bottom. It does have the cute banding here on the thing. I just love it. Like this would be worn with like a pair of capris from the 60s and like a little headscarf. Oh, precious. Like he would wear this like going in the convertible. I love this so much. I'm not keeping it. I have plenty of my own sweaters, but I love this. It doesn't have a, t a si like a tag in it. It doesn't have a size tag in it. It doesn't have material tag. This doesn't feel like polyester. It feels like a silk blend. I don't know. It's interesting. Like a silk linen blend. That's what it feels like to me. I just think it's beautiful. But I am going to put it up on whatnot first. And then if it doesn't sell on whatnot. Which of course you, it don't feel bad if you buy it for me on whatnot. If it doesn't sell on whatnot then it'll just live in my closet on me until until it does sell because I, like I said it is vintage it is from the 60s so it will take a minute to sell unless you magically have the like right time right buyer when, whenever you list it again another piece I couldn't believe hadn't sold yet uh I don't know if maybe it was the brand or what but I actually found a cup like three or four down puffer vests or jackets at the bins this day I'm guessing people are getting rid of their winter coats or whatever, but this was the only one that wasn't like torn the, torn the F up. Like everything else was like one of them had duct tape in places. It was a Huck jacket. I was so heartbroken. I was like, oh my God, it's a Huck puffer. And then I just saw like all the duct tape patches all over it with like feathers spewing out. I was like, oh, okay, well that's why that's here. But this is Calvin Klein and it is a women's size large and it is the packable lightweight premium down jacket and it is a long jacket. It is very lightweight and it goes like, it covers your butt. It even covers my butt as someone who's 5'9". Um, but it's a women's size large. It is navy. I have to hold it up to something I know is black to make sure it's navy. Um, but yeah, really nice lightweight puffer. It has a hood. It actually has a good hood too. Like if you know, you know, like I hate it when they put a hood on something and it's like flopping back here. But it's a decent hood and it is a long line um lightweight down jacket so if you oh no oh okay that's just a detergent so i wash this on hand if this will come out when you guys see it in the whatnot show it won't look like this anymore um i'm using those eco sheets and if it's i've noticed that if you put it on cold hand wash setting it will not come out the first time if it gets like trapped in a pocket and it's only if I have like plastic in there. So this is like a plastic like water resistant shell. Um, so it'll like trap the little sheet in the in the thing and then it won't all wash all the way out when it's in hand wash. I'll just put it in a rinse cycle and then this will go away. So that's what this is. It'll be gone by the time I show it on whatnot I promise but I'll put that over there so I remember to put that in the red cycle again <laughs> it does happen I do like the eco sheets I've seen it like oh earth breeze that's what it's called earth breeze eco sheet I was really surprised I wanted to support you know Courtney from common tags and I believe Lori Tate apps ah, no ma'am no ma'am you know as Josh from Harry Tornado says like support your friends I always try to support creators here on YouTube and so I bought them one time using Courtney for common tags link and then I bought them again using Lori Tata's link um that's because like I wanted to I like it it only has that one flaw but it is one of the few like the they're free and clear just like detergents that um doesn't make me break out uh, I do have very sensitive skin so I'm not sponsored by them Earth Breeze, if you want to sponsor me, great, but I did want to like support friends and try it out and it has worked out pretty well. So if you see, you know, anybody else here on YouTube being sponsored by them, go ahead, <laughs> go, go do that. Go do the thing. Go do the thing to support your creator because it is worth it. Um, this is Duluth Trading. Uh, I did let my mommy try this on first and it did not fit her. Uh, one of the two shirts I, I gave her did fit this one she's like it's too big for me I've kind of thought that because it's a 4x and she's not a 4x but I don't know it's a size 4x it's salute trading it is a women's 4x so it's just a basic black t-shirt but I, I do really well with Duluth trading 
I also found soft surroundings a couple of times, which I thought was great. This had a stain on it, so I realized that's why it had been uh, thrown back. It did have a big stain on the front. You can see that big stain is now gone. But this is just a shawl collar, uh, soft surroundings, and an extra large. It's the women extra large. Nice little shawl collar. Um, it does have a texture to it. I don't think that's pilling. I think that's the way it's supposed to look. It's like this heather texture. Um, but I picked that up because I still love soft surroundings um, for me. I also always pick up Lucky Brand when I'm out at, at the bins because it does sell for me. Again, it doesn't sell for a whole lot, but it does sell for me. This is a women's extra large, but it's like, you know, it's Lucky Brand, so it's a, it's a little smaller. The Lucky Brand stuff is so weird. Some of their shirts, they're like oversized, and some of the shirts are slim fit. It just depends on the piece, I guess. This isn't one of their boho pieces. Normally their boho pieces are the ones that are a little oversized because they're going like that flowy peasant look. This is just a basic like tie-dye style top with a cap sleeve, a roll cap sleeve. I got this because this is soft. Like, <laughs> I wish I could internet this, the feeling of this. This is like so soft. Like, I, I just want to keep touching it because it's so soft. Um, but that's why I picked this up is because I do have good luck selling Lucky Brand in all sizes. And then this was too soft to let it languish at the bins because I, I felt like it deserved a new home. This is the other soft surroundings piece. It's a size small. It's just a basic uh, three-quarter balloon sleeve top in this, like, teal color. I just thought it was pretty. And this is, again, something that can live in here if it doesn't sell and whatnot it can live in here until it sells on ebay so there is that uh, this is a it's green so obviously i bought it but it's a gap cotton size 10 cargo skirt so i picked this up it's above for me it's above the knee if you're shorter it's going to be at the knee so i picked this up for sure this is a columbia piece Again, I don't know why nobody bought this. It's a women's size medium. It's supposed to look like, you know, the Patagonia fleeces, but it's Columbia. It does have the snap neck, but I like the little pop of pink there, and I'll definitely pick that up. And then the next few pieces are all new with tags. And then I'm also going to show you uh, a few other pieces that were donated to me by my friend Donna that are actually going to go up on whatnot as well. Because again, I'm trying to go through my car death pile and Donna gifted me some stuff so it'll just go up on whatnot first, but this encourages me to list it. But this is still stuff from the, the bins, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that yet. Uh, this is uh, new with tags. It is an acrylic blanket scarf, but it's this beautiful tartan. Uh, and like, it's like I said, it's new with tags, but it's like this big square. I mean, you could use it as a blanket at work or you can just use it as a scarf. I don't know. I just thought it was beautiful and it's very soft. Uh, so yeah, I picked that up and then, Ooh, this I bought for style. I just thought it was cute. It's Derek Hart. It's a size large. If, um, if it doesn't sell on whatnot, I can take this to the buy sell. Well, not now. I'll put it up on eBay, and if it doesn't sell by like fall, I'll probably take it to a buy sell trade. You know, if it doesn't sell. But it's like this pastel, like crop size large, like tattered is supposed to look like this, like raw him everywhere sweater. I don't know. I just thought this was cute, so I picked it up. And then Old Navy. New with tags. I will always pick up at the bins. This is the Lux shirt. It's a Lux tunic length shirt. Maybe it's supposed to be. No, it's a tunic length because it's split up the side. They would have nothing but butt hanging out. Um, so long line XL tunic length top in their Lux. So their Lux line is very soft. Um, but I picked this up for sure because I have great luck selling Old Navy new with tags. And then everything else now is the stuff that Donna has gifted me that'll go up on whatnot first. And then if it doesn't sell whatnot, then I'll put it up on eBay. We have Chico's, this is Chico's size one, which I think is a size medium, maybe. 
it's not Chico's Travelers, it's just Regulars Chico's. It's just this little like high-low abstract print top. Here's a pair of snow pants. The brand is Obermeyer. I've never heard of this, but I, I know we're going out of snow season, but I figured why not. Can be there for next. This is a lady size eight. Pair of snow pants. We have, I think, another pair of snow pants. These are outdoor sports. Yeah, size medium. But these are like cargo. Maybe they're just supposed to be like warm pants. Oh, these are fleece lined. So I don't think those are technically snow pants. I think those are just like snow, go play with your kids in the in the snow pants, not I'm gonna go snowboarding pants. But these are outdoor sports, women's size medium, and a blue pair, and then a pair of jeans. These are Wit and Wisdom. They have the elastic waist, and they're a size eight. She also had a dress, but in here, but I think I might keep that because <laughs> it's really pretty. I think this is some of the stuff when we were doing the Nordstrom trunk try-ons that she like got when we were doing the Nordstrom trunk try-ons that she's giving back to me, which I, I think I've realized that now after I'm going through some of the stuff. So Donna, thank you. Uh, I appreciate that. I really do. I do miss doing the try-on hauls with her because I thought they were super fun. Um, but Nordstrom trunk doesn't exist anymore. I think it was just them trying to like hold themselves over until like COVID was over. So they're like, you won't want to come, you don't want to come shop in stores. We'll do this subscription box. I think that's what it was, but I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, you can just look it up trunk club here on my site. If you just want to see me and Donna be goofy, but this is everything. Uh, again, the clothing that was in the beginning is already listed on uh, eBay. Everything is going to be else is going to be listed on whatnot. And then if you want to see the books that I got from this day, that'll be a future video on my book channel. Um, so I will link again that up above and down below. But thank you guys so much. And I will hero, see you in the next video. Hero, Bye. Bye. Hero, hero. I want to be a hero, hero.